Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, this will be one of several videos for this week. Uh, we need to set up an environment. Um, so we're gonna set up an environment that allows us to do something like I have right here. Um, so we're gonna do a weather API RESTful uh, connection. Uh, so we're gonna have a weather app, which will be for our API. And then we're gonna have a web server that'll be running for our web servers. So in this video right here, we're gonna get started on setting up our web server and or our weather um, our API app first, and then we'll do our uh, web server. And, um, and then after that, we'll write some code that allows us to make calls to our web servers and so forth. But before we do that, I think we should get some things established first. And I think, let's see here, we need to sign up for, let me pull up uh, something here. A second. I have an account on Dark Sky. Um, I already have an account, but you'll need an account as well. So I would say go to darksky.net and you'll need to set up a, a new account out here. Um, I think I'm already signed in here. So yeah, so just do try for free. I'm already in here. Um, you'll try for free. You'll enter your email address. that one started first so we'll create a directory under here this directory will be called chill to chili we will also need to have a um, file out here called app.js I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go into utilities first. So I'm going to create a oops, create a new file. And this first, first file is going to be called forecast.js. And then I'm going to create another file out here. And this file right here is going to be called geocode.js. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's get off the forecast. We'll start with that one first. Let me kind of delete these guys real quick. All right. So we'll start off with a constant. I'll call it a request equals require, and it'll be request. And we'll have to download something for this, but I think it's um. We'll wait till we get to that part. I'm not worried about it now. Perfect. And we're gonna do a constant forecast equals what do we need latitude so we're gonna need the latitude we're gonna need the longitude and we're gonna need something called a callback so we're gonna need a callback feature 
So we're going to use a Lambda expression equals and do that right there. Now we're going to need, this is where you're going to need your dark sky account. You're going to do URL equals and you're going to do tick HTTPS API dot dark sky dot net slash forecast and four slash. Now, what we need here is um, forecast. I did that right. Yeah. Forecast slash forward slash. So we need our API information here. So let me go find that for us. My account, I am logged in here right now. Console. All right. So there is a secret key right here. I don't care if I see it because this is a video. So I have this secret key. So you'll go to your account and get your secret key. And once you have your secret key, you'll then enter it in here. So um, let me copy that. So copy that. I'll then do a paste right here. And then I'll do a forward slash. Okay. So I need to wipe this out real quick. So I need to type over here. So then I'll do plus latitude plus tick comma and then we'll do our longitude and we will do the same thing here as well well actually i think it's just latitude and longitude yeah that's all we need right here perfect and hit return oops not that hit return perfect all right now we'll do a request and in parentheses we'll do a tick and we'll pass in the url and we'll say Jason, and we want it to be true. We want it to use Jason as our feedback, so we want it to come back as a clear text value. After this, we will do comma, and then in parentheses, we'll do error, comma, and we'll do body, like that. And then we'll do a lambda expression, and hit return. Now we need a, a condition statement here. So we'll say if there is an error message, we want to capture this. We want to say callback. And on callback, we'll just say uh, not able to connect to the weather service. And then we could do um, comma, and then we just put not, def I'll put undefined. Perfect. Now we could do an else statement here. Oops, control Z. We could do an else and do else if the body receives an error message. We could do a callback again. And we say uh, not able to find the location. Once again, undefined. So then we could say else and come down here and say callback undefined body dot daily dot data uh, in array right here. We'll use an array dot summary. I want to push out a summary here. Plus it is currently this is if, um, let's see, here, right here. this is if we are able to get some information, we want to provide what the temperature is. So, um, if, um, let's say that, oh, you know, this one, there is a connection, it'll skip these two and come down here and put this uh, temperature information in, which we need to get from the API. So we'll say currently plus body dot currently dot temperature plus we'll put degrees out there is a body dot currently precipitation so 
probability plus percentage. Oops. Of range, which is typical. So actually, when it does work, I have a sample of it here somewhere. Where is it at? So when it does work, it does this right here. It'll output this data, which we, here's the thing. It's, it's going to be on, um, it's going to be on, uh, uh, the user screen is not pretty, but later on you can make it pretty, but you're just grabbing the data and putting something. So I could come out here and say, um, Seattle goes out and does Seattle. Let's try a different city somewhere where we think it's going to be warm. We'll say uh, Orlando. Always warm in Orlando. So you can tell the temperature change. I'll put, um, where is it really hot? San Diego. And you see the temperature is different. So right now what we're doing is we're making web service calls by using a query string or something that we're going to learn in this class. So that's what we're going to try to get to eventually here with all this. All right. So all right, so chance of rain. So that's good. Perfect. All right. So now we will hit this right here. I want to make sure I got everything in here right. So we did our call back here and I think I have an extra one in here somehow. Yep. And that guy's right there by himself. And then we'll do module dot exports equals forecast. There we go. And I'll save that. Perfect. So that is good. I'll open up geocode. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing here as well. So our geocode is going to be kind of like our forecast a little bit. So let's copy all our code from our forecast and then we'll make changes over here. So I'll come over here and do a paste. Perfect. Um, it's going to be a request just like up here. Instead, this is going to be geocode. Um, we're going to have an address this time and a callback instead of a latitude. There we go. Um, our URL is going to be different. So we could pretty much wipe all this out and be sure with it. And we will have api.mapbox.com slash geocoding slash b5 slash mapbox dot places and then we'll do plus instead of latitude we'll do address and then we'll do plus let's do this right here we'll do plus um, dot json let me try to do it right plus okay dot json question mark access token equals and then we want to grab the access token whatever that is so go here here's my token I will come out here paste it in perfect <sighs> I'm so tired all right, so then we will do an ampersand, ampersand, and we'll do we'll give it a limit. I'll say uh, uh, limit equals one record. Perfect. All right, so now we have that set up, or at least that constant set up. Um, our request URL JSON true error body. So that's the same. If the error equals um, this time, we'll say location service. Um, this one right here will be different. Um, we will do grab something else. So, so we'll say our, we'll grab the body, but this time we'll do features length. And if it equals zero, 
and then we can do callback and we'll change this around a little bit the wording and say unable to find location try again perfect then we have else callback so this line right here will be deleted and we will do callback undefined comma and we'll do latitude so we're setting up an array here all right so these guys are pretty much the same so let's do this right here So we have latitude, and this will be a longitude. So now we'll do location. Um, we need to have a comma after this. This needs to be centered, oops, zero. So we have features and the next one's features dot place name. So let's do dot place name. Features location. Perfect. Right, let's see here. So we got place name. I apologize. I am like ready to pass out here. It's only 6.52. Um, all right, cool. So that right there is done. All right, perfect. All right, so we have our utility set up. We have our forecast and geocode. Lastly, we need a separate app, JS file. So let's create our app.js, which we have here. Um, we will be able to, well, we could probably cost, copy this over. So I'll do a geocode equals require. And then we'll do our utils, which is this directory here. And I'll grab the forecast or geocode. Perfect. And we'll do the same thing for the next one, constant it. So I guess I'm in my. So this one right here will require the forecast. Cool. Perfect. All right, constant address equals process dot argv two. And this is uh, an argument. Um, now we'll do if the address doesn't equal and log it. Log. Please add your address. Perfect. Then we could do else. We could do if it doesn't work, then hey, give me geocode. And we'll pass in parameters of address, comma, error message, in case that happens. Latitude. Longitude. Location. And our Lambda expression, perfect. And we'll say if error, we'll return the console.log error. Perfect. All right, so now we'll code the forecast down here and we'll say forecast Pass in the latitude, longitude, error message, forecast data, lambda expression. I'll explain this in a second. Then we'll do an if error message, return the console.log error. Perfect. And 
then I'll do a console dot long location like spell right then we'll do a console dot log forecast data perfect and we got one two perfect all right good so here we're using a constant we're saying hey go out here and get the geocode and forecast which feeds our api um, our customer addresses we're using an argument of two spaces um, we're saying hey if the address is not equal to con not equal to whatever is passed in so like for example when i come out or wherever it's at and run this um it knows i have to pass in a code so it uses that information so so it's not blank and it says uh pass an address so i'm passing a latitude longitude and location um pass that information there it gets passed in because i'm just doing san diego um whatever city is if there is an area we'll return it else will come down here and it'll run the forecast aspect of it there's an error message that logs it and says there's an error and it just, uh, then it does a log and pu pushes a location and the forecast data. Um, that's pretty much it for the weather app aspect of it. Um, trying to think what else there would be here. That's it. Next video, we'll talk about how to build a web server app. And then we'll start writing some code within the weather um, app. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Good day.